Well, I hope you're going to have a fantastic rest of the day. It's somewhat of a dreary start to your Monday, but nonetheless, at least it's not very soggy. We have the potential for a shower to here or there, but it's not going to be a washout. Just very dreary, as mentioned, and also temperatures staying a little bit below the average, but still close. We're expecting low 80s, averages about the mid 80s. Through the rest of the day, though, we're going to go with a 20% coverage of rain. If you're in North Carolina, the rain coverage would be about 30%. So uh, just a few additional showers possible closer to that stalled front. And we're also keeping a close eye on GERT. It's continuing to organize and develop out there over the open waters of the Atlantic, south and west of Bermuda, south and east of Cape Hatteras. And the only thing that we're really watching is the potential for, again, that higher risk for rip currents and higher waves as the long period swells from this system, eventually make it to the coastline, again, making swimming a little bit dangerous for the next few days. So again, if you see the red flags up at the area beaches, be careful, stay out the water. That indicates that we're looking at dangerous conditions out there. So just continue to be mindful of the beach forecast. Nonetheless, here's a check of the spaghetti plots affiliated with GERD and it is forecast to become a hurricane. It's a small window for it to do so. Again, still staying out to sea, but there's a small window before it gets caught up in the upper level jet flow or jet stream flow and eventually gets kicked towards the north and east away from our coastline. Today, though, we're talking low 80s out there today. 83 for Norfolk. We'll go 82 in Virginia Beach. Around 86 expected for Williamsburg. Keeping it right about 80 for Melfin and Corolla. Again, a few showers here or there, but generally not that bad of a day, just not the sunniest of days. Tomorrow, a few showers are possible. Less of a rain threat by Wednesday and temperatures spike up courtesy of a south wind, so we'll be in the 90s by Thursday.